Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hello? Okay. So I saw the internet speed is really slow today as well. So we will see if uh, it works out or not. If it does not work out today, I think everybody at this time just start watching Netflix and other things. So we will change our time to somewhere about an hour later. I saw yesterday, the whole day today, the internet was actually doing very well in the morning. Then just now the upload speed has gone down to 10 Mbps. And I think after an hour or so, it becomes better too. So <clears throat> if it didn't work today, we will then switch to another hour. So with this, so here is the assistant. This assistant doesn't have a name yet, so please decide a name. I know that she she has she's a cool bean, so she has the badge for the cool bean, and so she's going to be helping us as well. So I am the assistant to Dr. Bean, and I'm going to help with various lectures. Okay, let's talk. Thank you. So, <laughs> so that is done. So that was the assistant. Let's start a discussion. So there are two or three things that are important from a news point of view, and then there is the uh, com at my uh, messy letter that I would like to talk about. So let's start. <clears throat> and one more thing that uh, this Saturday I will be off. I have a religious holiday, Saturday and Sunday. So I will be taking an off on this Saturday as well. I hope that is okay. Okay, so let's start. <clears throat> So I'm going to start sharing my screen. The first thing, as I had discussed yesterday as well, this session that I'm trying to do and the internet kind of uh, threw this session off yesterday, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a kind of a prescription for all of us. And that prescription, the basic idea is the following. Look, we have, there is a multiple stages for COVID-19. So one of the stages where we are healthy. We are not yet sick, we are healthy. Then it is possible that we are asymptomatic, but we are sick. Then it is possible that there are mild symptoms, there are moderate symptoms, and I wish nobody has this, that we have severe and uh, critical sy symptoms. So we are here. I want to make sure that we know that at this stage, what are the things that we can do that would help us? And then at this stage, asymptomatic, what are the things we can do? And at this stage, what can we do? And of course, this severe and critical is mostly in doctors' hands in the ICU. But what are the things that they do over there? So I wanted to make sure that we can produce a set of things that we can use while we are healthy to search chance as much possible as much as possible so that is the basic is in the next coming days that are important for example vitamin e vitamin a vitamin k etc so that's one then i'll be talking about the trace elements these are, for example, we've already talked about zinc. We'll talk about copper and selenium as well and their role for, the, um, for our uh, um, health. Then we'll talk about nutraceuticals as well. So nutraceuticals are the things that are probably herbs, fortified drugs, designer drugs, and so on. So we'll do that. Then we'll talk about the probiotics as well. So probiotics are, are live pathogens that are healthy for us for chronic diseases, possibly. So that is the claim. So we'll look at the probiotics that would help us with our immune system. And finally, we'll definitely continue to look at drugs that are being used in regular allopathic medicine or the medicine that we are all used to. This is the discussion. I want to start now. Uh, one more thing that I would like us all to keep in mind. As we discuss these drugs from now on, please keep in mind that we are talking about antivirals. So here is a coronavirus that we have uh, uh, killed here. So we'll talk about antivirals. And antivirals, here if you look at it, 
should be looked at in